Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Grab a ball if you have the opportunity and let's do some games with balls. So grab your ball and let's see if we can warm up our hands by just doing some ball steps. Just wanna get your hands warmed up, get them ready to be able to catch your ball. All right, let's see if you guys can use the very tips of your fingers to roll the ball around. Try to just use the tips. Want to roll it up. Let's see if we can roll it down. Roll it up high again. See if you can roll it around in a big circle. And let's circle the other way. Fantastic. Let's see if you guys can make your ball go around your body. So let's see if we can make it go all the way around our body. From the back, it looks like this. Switch to the other hand. And let's just go around and around and around and around. Fabulous. Try the other direction. Ah! <laughs> that may happen. If you lose your ball, just go grab it and resume. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Let's change it up a little bit and see if we can spread our legs and go around and around one leg. Awesome, see if you could go around and around the other leg. Fabulous, let's see if you could go around and around your head. Awesome. All right, fantastic friends. I do wanna remind you um, to make sure that you are following your parents' directions and cooperating with them during this time. Uh, they could really use your help and you can contribute to keeping yourself and your family safe. Let's also make sure that we're all following the CDC guidelines and doing what we can to flatten the curve as well. So. Let's take our ball and see if we can practice a little simple bounce and catch. So I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to hold it out in front of me, let it go, and hopefully it's going to go straight down and come right back to you. So you don't want to throw it. You just want to very gently take your hands off and let your ball bounce back to you. Notice that I'm not actually moving my body down toward the ball because oftentimes when that happens, the ball is going to come back up faster than what you anticipate. So just let the ball bounce back to you and we want to work on catching. Just a reminder too that you need to make sure your eyes are on the prize and what I mean by that is if your eyes are on the ball, they are going to be able to tell your brain where your hands need to go to be able to catch the ball. That's called hand-eye coordination. So let's make sure that you've got your eyes on the ball as you let it go and try to catch it when it comes back to you. Just give it a nice big hug with both hands. All right, fabulous. After we've practiced doing our bouncing and catching, we can just try some tossing and catching. So again, when you are trying your toss and catch, it's super important that you've got your eyes on the ball. Also, I would recommend that you start with a really tiny toss, just a little bit, because a little toss is gonna be a lot easier to catch than a big toss when you're first learning. Of course, if you have been practicing your catching and tossing and catching for a while, you can add a little bit more difficulty to it by going a little bit bigger. So if you're comfortable 
With your small couch, you could try going a little bit bigger and even bigger. Ah. Just like everything else, guys, the more practice you do at a skill, the better you get. And these days, we all have a lot of time in our house to spend doing some simple skills and practicing your ball catching would be fantastic. Over and over again, lots and lots of repetition is what will help you get good at a skill. So, if you're uh, already good at it and you've been working on it and you're looking for something that is a little bit more challenging, try adding a movement in there in addition to your toss and catch. For example, toss, clap, catch. Toss, clap, catch. Toss, clap, catch. A couple of variations are add additional claps. Let's see how many I can do. I'll challenge myself here. One, two, three, four. All right, I was able to get in four claps. Um, so you challenge yourself and see how many claps you can get in. All right, so I've changed my angle a little bit because I'm gonna show you guys a couple of activities that you can do with the ball on the floor. One of my favorites is to make a nice straddle position and we're gonna pretend like our legs are a fence and our ball is a little puppy dog. And our little puppy dog is gonna run around beside our fence. And let's see if our puppy dog can run all the way around our fence all the way around. Try to keep those knees nice and straight so you're getting a really big stretch. It's gonna run all the way around the fence, all the way around the far side, and run back in front. I'm gonna turn around so I can show you guys what that looks like from the back. So I'm gonna stretch, let my little puppy dog run all the way around, all the way around and back to the front. Another super fun game that we do in our preschool classes with our ball is we squeeze our ball with our feet and we go upside down and drop it and catch it. That's a great way to work on catching because the ball, where the ball is gonna go is gonna be um, very easy to anticipate. So squeeze that ball with your toes Lift it up high, drop it, and catch it. And um, our very early beginners are gonna absolutely love that game. It's lots of fun. Now, if you're a little bit um, of an older person and that game is a little too simple for you, then let's work another little stretch exercise with our ball. You can, again, squeeze that ball in between your feet, but this time, you're going to turn upside down and stretch all the way over till your ball touches the floor. Then you can come all the way back up again and try the whole movement a couple of times. All the way upside down, touch that ball to the floor and roll all the way back up. Another fun exercise that we do with our really young and new students is we put our ball on our lap and we practice rolling, rolling, rolling our ball all the way out to our toes. That way we can do a nice big pike stretch. Notice that I'm keeping my knees nice and straight and my feet really stretched out in front of me. And then after you get it all the way to your toes, roll it back to your belly button. And you can try that a couple of times, it's lots of fun. You could also incorporate that with turning upside down, dropping and catching for a nice little um, activity that involves doing two separate things once you've practiced both of them individually. You can also practice just drop and catch from sitting as well. For our younger students and new catchers, the more you can confine the ball, the easier it is for them to keep control of it. You can start practicing some dribbling skills. So 
That's way easier with a nice bouncy ball. <laughs> you can practice rolling the ball on all different places on your body. For really young students, it's really fun to do some body part recognition, like ask them where would they like to roll the ball on our bodies. Um, one of them might suggest, well, let's roll it on our arm. So we'll put our arm out and we'll practice rolling the ball on our arm. You can practice holding the ball in different places. Like for example, hold the ball between your knees and you could add to that by trying your table position with the ball. It's also fun to do a couple of blast offs where you squeeze the ball between your feet and then you go three, two, one, blast off. And catching it after you do that adds a whole nother dimension of fun and craziness because oftentimes the ball goes all over the place. Uh, do make sure that you're prepared for that. If you guys are doing this in your house, Make sure that you're prepared to move anything out of the way that your ball could crash into and cause a problem. We don't want you to break stuff that's important. All right, miss you guys. Hope to see you as soon as possible in the gym. We're really anxious to get back together again and missing you and I'm sure you guys feel the same way. So stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye.